Hi lovelies and welcome back to my channel. How are you all doing? I hope you're doing great. So good to be back again, sitting down and doing like a sit down video. Guys, life has been lifing, okay? <laughs> so yes, life has been lifing. I've not really been able to do a sit down video, but thank God I'm able to sit down today and talk to you all. So how are you all doing? Let's chat. I feel like I've missed you all. I feel like when I do a sit-down video, I'm chatting with my friends, I'm chatting with people, like I'm chatting with family. So how are you all doing, guys? How are you doing? If this is your first time on my channel, you are welcome. My name is Chika. I am a mom of three boys and I share videos ranging from motherhood, to food lifestyle and so much more if those are the kind of videos you like then please give this video a thumbs up yeah give us a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel you can also look at the other videos i have i have tons of videos that i've made and i'm sure you're going to find something you like and so please join the family i would love to have you here so guys as you've already seen from the topic today I'm going to be talking about how to make relocation easier on the kids. Now, as we all know, relocation is a lot, okay? It's a lot. It takes your emotional, physical, mental, financial, like name it, guys. Relocation is a process, is a lot. And just the way you're going through that process as a parent, trust me, your kids are also going through that same thing. So if you're feeling overwhelmed, there's a very high chance that your kids are also feeling overwhelmed. So guys, in case you're hearing any sound, please ignore it. It's my washing machine that's going on. So the sun is out today and I'm like, definitely, I've got to do some washing. So I just, that's what's going on in the background. It's just the washing machine. Okay, so personally for me, the first on my list to make relocation easier a bit easier for kids is good communication now as a parent i believe in effective communication i believe in intentional parenting and so you need to know exactly when you need to tell your kids about this process because you don't just wake up one morning and relocate okay relocation is something that takes time it takes a lot of planning so you need to know at what point in your planning process that you're ready to tell your kids because kids will be kids okay now, this also depends on the ages of your kids. So, of course, if you have babies and they are toddlers, infants, depending, like I said, depending on the ages of your kids, if, it's, if they are infants, you know, there's nothing really much that you're going to say, okay? Of course, you can still talk to your baby and talk to your toddler, but I'm talking about when your kids are a bit grown. So now, depending on the age of your kids, you should be able to know when to tell them based on the planning process. Because kids will always be kids, you know, they can just go to school and say, hello, everybody, we're traveling and they could say anything. Trust me, kids can say anything. So you need to know exactly when you're ready to tell them. It's not like in the beginning process, like you're just starting it off and then you're just like saying it. You know exactly when you want to tell them. And when you figure that out, you need to sit down and have that conversation and let them know why you are doing that. Let them know why you're relocating. They need to understand the process. Like you need to tell them everything. Be honest as much as you can to your kids. Yes, it's very important. In my own case, my kids knew I was coming to school. They knew the school I was coming to. They knew the course I was coming to do. And so I talked to them a lot. And I believe that it's very important, the communication process, because you're going to uproot them from something they already know, something they're used to, their life, their friends. So I, so I believe that the communication will help. I know my kids kept asking questions, one question today, and then the next day they come up with another question. You know, they're trying to digest it. They're trying to internalize it as much as you want, as much as you also trying to do that as an adult, your kids are also going through the process. So communication would definitely go a long way to help out. Now, the second thing I'm going to say is create as much awareness as you can about where you're going to. It's a new place. It's a new culture. It's new people. So try and create as much awareness as you can for your kids. Now, in my own case, I'm already a YouTuber. So I watch a lot of YouTubers already in the UK, both Africans and non-Africans. So what I did was to involve my kids. They already used to watch some of the videos. 
and then I involved them. They were watching more of the videos to see where we were going to, what it looks like in that country. We watched shopping videos. We watched a lot of videos. We watched getting ready to school. So they had like an idea. Oh, is this what the uniform looks like? Is this what the shops looks like? So by the time we got down here, they were just like, okay, so this found land. Okay, so this is this, this is this. They already had an idea because of the videos. Now, I know you cannot be so prepared. You can't be over prepared, but you can prepare to a good extent. I, I feel like preparation is really important. It helps you a lot because definitely when you land, you're going to start getting bass blues. As in, you're going to be seeing so many other things pop up. But because you have prepared a little bit, it's going to give you that heads up. The next thing I'm going to say is involve your kids in the process. Like I said, it's a long journey. It's a process. They need to know when they're involved, they'll feel more in control also of the situation. So as much as you can, involve them in the process, in the packing. You know, it's a lot. Like I said, you don't just wake up one morning and leave kids because... Because definitely you have, you're going to have to pack. You're going to have to buy things. You're going to have to disorganize. You have to give out stuff and all of that. So my kids were always involved in the process. They were able to like, okay, what are you taking? What are we not taking? You know, what are we giving out? What are we taking to church? They were involved in the process. In the time when it was for visa, it, they were involved even in the prayer process. You know, when you tell them to pray, they'll say, God, we're praying for UK and all of that. So involve your kids in the process. It will reduce the stress for them. If you're enjoying this video so far, please give us a thumbs up. Yes, that like button there. It goes a long way to help my channel. And if you haven't subscribed, now would be a good time for you to subscribe and join the family. When you're involved in a process, you're less agitated. So involve them as much as you can. I knew when we got a house, we showed them the house, the house store videos. You know, just let them know that they are part of it. Don't just remove them from the whole thing because kids here, trust me, they hear, they sense all these things. They have their own emotions. So we need to be aware of that because like I said earlier on, relocation, it's a big deal. It's a whole lot. Now, another thing I'm going to say is be prepared for the move. Now, when I mean preparation now, I'm talking about be prepared for the traveling process. Now, depending on how you're traveling, depending on where you're traveling to, the timing, the flight, you just need to prepare. You need to prepare in terms of what to eat on the flight. You might not be so sure about that. So what I did was one of my hand luggages was filled with stuff for the kids, food for the kids, basically snacks, bread. I got gala if you're a Nigerian. Like we ate that gala for weeks, even after we arrived here. Like we had a lot of snacks. Get the things your kids like because moving into a new country, you're not so sure. It's really when you're trying to settle in, even for that night when you when you enter the country, like the next day you enter the country or whenever you arrive, you don't really know what you're going to expect. You don't know if where you're going to stay, you're able, going to be able to get stuff. So just prepare as much as you can. Also for the flight, I would suggest you get like extra clothes for the kids because anything is possible though. Sometimes there could be flight sickness, trust me, and anything can happen. They could spill something on their clothes. They could fall a bit sick, like travel sickness. You just need to have another extra clothes handy just in case, like one or two, because it depends, like I said, it depends on the distance of your flight, depending on how many hours you're going to be flying. Also, get some handy medications that you can, something like um, paracetamol, like pain relief, just just basic, easy, um, over-the-counter medications that you can get. Maybe something for the stomach, something for cold, get like BAM. You know, let those things be handy, like be prepared. It reduces your stress. For example, if your child falls ill during the flight and maybe throws up or something and you don't have a spare clothes, you start getting stressed. So to avoid all those stress, be prepared when you're traveling with kids, like be prepared. Or for example, or if they don't want to eat what on the flight, they can't just go hungry, like all through. So you need to have those snacks, those little bits here and there. It's very important. It will reduce your stress level when traveling. Now, when you have arrived, everybody is busy settling in. Don't forget that effective communication because it can really get busy so fast, like everybody, because you're trying to 
you're trying to settle down, the kids are also trying to settle down, you can lose track of time. So you need to be conscious as a parent to have that effective communication. How was your day? Make sure to talk. Make sure you're talking. Make sure you're talking. Very, very key. Make sure you don't get so overwhelmed that you miss out like the family time and all of that because that's the way you can know how your kids are coping with the whole situation. Now, when it comes to their school, I'll also suggest that you talk to the teachers. If you have any question, anything, always try to find out more. Let me give you an example. When we finally got a school for my kids and when they started school, I know at some point they were always coming back home without homework. And I was like, what's happening? Because if you are an African, you're Nigerian, you know what? If you're in Nigeria, you know how homework used to be now. They used to give us the homework back to back. So I was like, okay, so what are you guys doing in school? I wanted to know, like, so one day I had to walk up to the teacher and I was like, yes. And they now told me that, girl, check out this website. Go to the website. You see, when I went to the website, there was a lot, a lot of exercises for the kids, a lot of spelling, a lot of reading, a lot of math. So guys, ask questions because those things helped a lot. Because if you just don't ask, <laughs> it's the person way ask question on the miss road okay so if you ask question you cannot lose your bearing so ask questions and find out more about what's going on in your kids school now finally i'm going to say that create memories yes it's a lot and in the process of relocating don't forget to create memories with your kids make out time to create that memories and stay positive Stay positive, be prayerful, you know the reason why you relocated, you know the reason why you took that step. So no matter what, be optimistic, be positive, and I'm very sure that with time, you're going to adjust really well to the whole situation. So guys, let me know in the comment section if you recently relocated, what are your tips, what are the tricks that you have used to ensure that your kids settle in, in, as in settle in properly what are the tips that you use to ensure that your relocation process was smooth let me know in the comment section i'd love to read that and i'm sure someone also is going to learn something from that so leave them down in the comment section and thank you so much for watching today's video and i'll see you again in my next video until then stay fabulous and stay blessed love you and god bless you bye